In this video, we have a scenario. We have two cars accelerating, but the first car gets a three second head start. And we're gonna solve for the final position when the police car in the back catches up to the car that got the three second head start. Okay, so the key to solving this problem is uh, a couple different things. Uh, the first thing is you wanna find out all of the values related to your second car after the three seconds has passed. Okay, so, so the initial velocity for both of them um, is going to be a little bit different, especially if this one had already moved for three seconds. And then also its position is gonna be a little different. Clearly it's gonna be ahead. So we wanna find out how fast, we'll go ahead and call this car two, and then we can call this car one. So we wanna figure out how fast car two is going and how much it's moved. And then we'll continue with like the main part of the problem where we set up and solve for our final position. Okay, so the first thing is, we're gonna have both things starting from rest, except this one got a three second head start. So we can go ahead and find out how much it's moved. And we can use the formula VIT plus one half AT squared. And it turns out we don't really And it turns out we don't really need this first part of the formula because it's starting from rest. So we just need one half a t squared. So one half a is one and then the time squared. So three squared is uh, nine. Whoops, three squared. So three squared is nine. Nine times one is nine. Nine times one half is 4.5. Okay, so first of all, we wanna go ahead and mark that this car is 4.5 meters ahead. Uh, secondly, we wanna figure out how fast it's going. So if we figure out how fast it's going, we wanna go ahead and plug it into this formula right over here. And we have a VF that we're looking for. We're subtracting zero because it started from rest. We know one for three seconds and the acceleration is one. So this one is pretty simple as well. Multiply both sides by three and then your VF equals three meters per second, okay? So the second piece of important information is that this one is going to start our situation going at three meters per second. All right, so let's go ahead and clear our screen and then start solving the main part of our problem. So the main formula we're going to use is the final position minus the initial position, um, which is basically our delta x equals vit plus one half at squared. Um, now the key is because both of these objects or both of these cars are going to eventually end up at the same spot, they're going to have the same exact final position. So we're going to set everything equal to x f. So we're going to actually add this initial position to both sides and then we're going to have the initial position on the right side of the formula okay so let's go ahead and do that um, so for our police car um, we have an initial position of zero and then plus vit uh, the vi it starts at rest so we actually don't care about that either and then plus one half a t squared, okay? So that is the expression that would be set equal to the final position. Now we can go ahead and set that equal um, to that same expression for the other side. Now for the other side, this car is starting four and a half meters ahead. So we have four and a half meters. And then this one does have an initial velocity, which we saw for earlier. So it has that three, so this is three t that covers the vit and then plus one half a t squared and then actually we know the a it is the uh, one meter per second squared okay so let's do this um let's do a little bit of rearranging and then we'll solve for the time and then you can actually take that time plug it back into either formula and then you'll find the final position so let's go ahead and do that
All right, so what I did is I rearranged the formula. I just put everything on the right side. Um, so I just combined the one half and the four to get the two and the one half and the one to get 0.5. After I subtracted two t squared from both sides, then I got negative 1.5 t squared because this side would be positive 0.5. So when you subtract two, then it changed the coefficient to negative 1.5. Uh, I combined those terms and then I had plus three T and then the four and a half from the initial position. So you can use the quadratic formula or if you would like to, you can go ahead and graph it and then find the two points where it intersects the X axis. In that case, you're gonna get two times, three seconds and negative one second. And obviously negative one second isn't correct. Um, so we're for sure gonna go with the three seconds. So it's gonna catch up to it after three seconds. And what we can do to find the final position is put it into either of our formulas. Um, we could put it into this one right here, the one half four T squared, or we could have put it in here as well. So we set them equal to each other. So they have the same final position anyways. Um, I just put it into this one just because this one has less uh, variables in it. So I did one half times the acceleration of four times our time squared that we got right over here. And then one half times four is two, two times three squared is two times nine, which is 18 meters. That is our final answer. So to sum things up, if you wanna solve for a problem like this, you wanna make sure you find all of the new values for your second car, which would basically be where it starts. So finding your delta X and then also finding your um, velocity after the uh, three seconds, which was our three meters per second. Okay, that was a final velocity, but then we started the problem all over again to the original scenario where we have a car back here starting at rest, and now we have one starting at three meters per second. Um, and then you set those two equal to the final position, and then set those two formulas equal to one another. From there, you only have one unknown variable, which is time. And then once you solve for time, you can plug it into either formula, and then you're gonna get that final position. So I hope that was helpful to you. Thank you for watching and listening.